We are back. It is Roll Out Live with Speedy and Friends. And I'll be Speedy up in this bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Ralphie, for not participating. Well, I like the ladies' voice better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and else we got? Oh, y'all wait for me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, no, so, so, Alexander Duvall. Cuz in the building. Cause. And else we got? Robbie Perone. And else we got? Mobile Braid LA. Mo, can you pull it? She do braids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. She did uh, Madison's hair. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't, don't talk to me like that, Nick. <laughs> don't talk to me like I can put all this stuff together. <laughs> yeah, so my, my niece... She be wanting to get hair braided too. So oh, yeah. She, yeah, she'll come she'll, to you. I should give you my yeah exchange information. Yeah, yeah. She'll come to you because we I had to look around to get somebody to do her hair. And she's good. Yeah. Show us the ones okay. with your head, but aren't on your head. You know the braids that are on your head but oh, not on your head. Then you turn it back down. They're like cornrows, but they like go like this, like the powder. That's what you want. Oh, like a specific pattern. I don't know. It's just Fulani thing. Oh, show me a picture. You know what we got. Uh. Camille Corbett, a.k.a. The Witty Girl. I'm dead. Don't fuck with her. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> witty Girl. Yeah. Over here at the uh, Marvel table, the one, the only, the honorable. <clears throat> Shout out to the people. And you clear your throat every single time. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't say shit about that. Okay. <laughs> don't hey, like I'm telling you now, man. Shout out to... Uh, I'm going to learn to work the board. Shout out I'm to gonna TDP, stop man. this shit. Shout out to TDP. It can't be that hard. You learn. Uh, that's what they say. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, when I do, you. Uh, it's been it's been tw- it's been 15 years. I when I figure it out, you take a day off, pimp. It's been 15 years, pops. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I'm gonna have to do it because you keep acting like you running shit. I think he low key is. Uh, really? That works. That's yeah. everybody. Now. <laughs> I'll shut this Patreon down. Yeah. Now, my cousin in the building, Devoe. You What's probably up? heard the name before. Yeah. Uh, I mean, last time I came in, I didn't bring any any candies or trinkets or nothing no, like that. No, you didn't, man. Yeah, no, I, did. I, re- I remember that, though. So What'd you bring? I had to bring uh, a little token of my appreciation. Is that some knife? Yeah. No, it's not a knife. It's a What's rather heavy knife. knife. It's a knife. little thing wow. like this. It's a little gold. Oh, yeah. Well, for the, uh, what was it for? Redale? Yeah. 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 yeah, pass it around. Yeah. Pass it around. It ain't got no residue yeah. on it, does it? Resume. Residue. Oh. <laughs> Read it right. Or... No, it, no, no, no. No, it ain't got no residue. <laughs> no residue on it. I'm just saying. You don't know. It's got some weight to it. No, no residue. Ain't no residue. Yeah. Residue. It Woody girl, read that, please. It could. That's residue um, on that. Goes on. Hall of Fame video branch, Alexander Duvaux. Hey. Porn, right? I mean, I don't call it porn, but. What do you call it? Adult yeah. entertainment. Yeah, cinema. Oh, wow. So what oh, sort thanks. of adult porn? entertainment do you do? Porn. <laughs> well, there's, there's different types. What? <laughs> what I, mean, we <laughs> I mean, it's it's the stuff. It, it's that nasty stuff where people go ooh, ah, ooh, like that type of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is this some serious shit. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. I I guess. This is the white one. I, it ain't I the black one. Be, I guess it could be like that. Is oh, black okay. is black one like a Newport or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> the the black awards is called what? I mean, it's not it's not really the black awards. It's just like I'm the, just saying, the everybody where they like recognize, all the yeah, where they recognize it. It's glass. It's transparent. It's an X. So oh, yeah, yeah. And this one is a A V N A V N. Oh, this is an A V N award. Oh, it didn't just say that on the on the plaque you just yeah, read. <laughs> a, little, so, a little higher up. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> A little higher up and said that. Well, I'm stoned right now, Lo Siento. Okay. I'm not aware of all the porn awards. Oh, we already have a sidebar, like trying to figure out what, what it is that. What, what's that's cool, though. That's what it is. Come here. Trying to figure out what she does. Huh? She's a writer. Oh, yeah. She, she writes write. on, uh, yeah, she writes, acts. Nice. Yeah, no, I definitely want to. I want to write erotic porn. And I'm very, I mean, like, I mean, not erotic porn, but erotic stories that, like, where people actually have sex, sort of like love. By Gaspar Noe, it's like one of my favorites. But still has some dialogue and some shit going on. No, I just want it to be a regular and... movie, just like people actually have sex in it. Mm. And oh. then I actually do want to do porn. Like, I I mean, direct it. Like, oh. It's I the mean, same thing. Fun. Like, what you talking about? I want to win the AVN award. It's like, I think it's cool. One of the best the best movies, I told you. It's, it's, the, same, it's the same thing. Was called Ransom. And it was with a, it was a porn called Ransom. With Jazz. Jazz McCash Ransom. Yeah, Bishop and, did that. And, yeah, Bishop, wait. Did you should do that? Yeah, you made that. That's funny. Uh, it's funny because I went to high school with a little nigga. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, um, the movie was so good because it was well written, it was mm-hmm. well acted, mm-hmm. and the only thing that upset me because they were fucking. I wanted to hurry up and you know <laughs> get past that. But w- was the fucking scenes fucking? Yeah. 
Okay. But, but it, it was, I mean, they're really, they're really doing their thing, but it was like, okay, 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 okay. I, I, I want to see what's next. Because the, the story was just great. It was great that I was following the story. Uh-huh. But then when they added all the sex into it, it was like, this could have been on Showtime or Cinemax. It was really now, good. Now, how much, I mean, that's the, that's the point. How much of your stock raised when you got that? Like, how I mean, more noticeable did you become? <laughs> it, it don't really, I mean, I, for me, I was already at a certain level, so. Mm-hmm. I mean, after a while, like, it, it, they don't really mean shit to you. No? Yeah. You, you just have to pretend. Words? Huh? It's like if Jamie you got do. another Oscar, I guess. Yeah, I mean, but. Like, I mean, what honestly, like, you know, it only, like, the first time you get an award, like, depending on what the show is, like, it really means something. And then after that, it's just, a, you just put on This is what you do. Because you can't, like, you can't ever repeat the excitement of, yeah. of receiving that award. But so. this one is Hall of Fame, though. Yeah, I, mean, I, already, I had another one, so. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, how long have you been doing porn for to get, like, porn? this award? Like, adult entertainment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 it's, I, I mean, I, I never call it porn. I, I guess since day one, since back in the day, I started in Hawaii, like, shooting shit on the beach. Like, what year? When I was going to school. It was, um, 92, I guess, 93. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's where you got the bug, like, this is what I want to do? So yeah, like 30 yeah. Years yeah. Doing wow. It. Well, that's a long wow. time. So, so you always did it. From, that's not 30 years. It's like 20 something. You've always no, done it because I was born 1990, like four, and I'm 26. That's, not, that's, that's 28 years. I know that to be yeah. true. That's basically 30 years. Well, I mean, I was like, <laughs> professionally, yeah, like too. professionally, I was doing that because like, I, you know, I was, I've, I've always been kind of freaky. So. When I had girlfriends, I would always put a camera up, and then we'd always be having sex in front of the camera. And then professionally... That's what I was going to ask you. Did you automatically start off directing, or were you actually in there? I started doing everything at the same time. So when I was in Hawaii, like, we were making our own product. Mm -hmm. I I was shooting my own stuff. That was, like, amateur stuff. Mm, No, I I guess if you want to consider it to be amateur, but I've never considered what I've done to be amateur stuff. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I, I did my wish. I'm not the, the typical kind of person who decided to come and do adult entertainment. Like, before I did that, like, I, I, I had already did all my research. And then we were, we were making products. Like, I used to run a lot of stores when I was in Hawaii when I was going to school. And then we just made stuff and then put on the shelves to, to, to gauge how people would respond to that. And they, so, they, and they were buying it? No, they, we weren't selling it then. Oh, okay. We were just doing research, like, making stuff and then putting it out and then seeing how people would gravitate toward that with other commercial stuff that was already on the shelves. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you went to uh, Hawaii? I went to the UH, University of Hawaii. All four years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When I first came into the visit, like when I first came back to LA, um, believe it or not, yeah, who? Cool. They like, they, they like, it, it, Hawaii's different because it's like, um, a big Asian culture. Mm-hmm. So we were doing like local stuff. Like we were just taking local people mm-hmm. that look, you know, um, Hawaiian, Asian or whatever. So we put those on a box. So if you look Polynesian or Asian or whatever, like that's what they were gravitating toward. Yeah. So they were, as opposed to the, the stuff that was coming from LA, like they were, if you had some stuff that was produced locally, mm-hmm. like it was just like, like they could get enough of that. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know you were in Hawaii that whole time. Yeah, I lived in Hawaii for 11 years. And then that's where I caught the bug when I was going. Um, I was doing pre-law, so I was going, oh, I'm going to go to law school. And then I took a production class, mm-hmm. and then those two things came together. So I was actually supposed to be shooting a political show, and I was taking the equipment and shooting porn on the beach. <laughs> <in Hawaii>. so, <laughs> yeah, this, it, was, it was crazy. <laughs> so it's like, ah, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll check the equipment out, and then... Uh, I never turned in the show. Like, I'd always be <laughs> on a beat somewhere, like, shooting people. And fucking. action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this shit was a lot of beautiful people. women you probably met in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah Hawaii. Yeah. Surprised you ain't got no kids Hawaii's now. You sure? You ain't got no kids now. Anymore? I mean, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> Some Caldwell's out there somewhere. Yeah. What's up? Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I love Hawaii. Watch watch I used to always do shows at uh, Hickory Rainies. Air Force Base. Yeah. 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 Uh, Rainies, yeah. Uh, Mosley's, Roger yeah. Mosley's Club. Yeah, I, I didn't, I yeah. never wanted to do, Roger, yeah. Roger rubbed me the wrong fucking way. So Roger Mosley came out here and he went to the Comedy Act there. So mm-hmm. he was asking comics, do you want to come to Hawaii? Yeah. Okay. And, you know, I'd never been to Hawaii at the time he asked. I was like, yeah, I says, what you guys paying? He says, we ain't paying, we're just getting you per diem. I said, what? 
And you, he wanted you out there for like a week. Yeah. Well, we I said, said, dude, you're not going to give me no per diem to go to Hawaii and I've never been here. What's wrong with just coming down and support a black person? I said, dude, you've been on TV. Let's right. the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I never did his show because I thought it was fucked up. He had comics flying out there just for per diem. Mm -hmm. So I hooked up later on with a young lady who was doing the Air Force bases. He was doing Hickam, Hickam, Hickam and um, we were, the, the Army base. Yeah, we so were. We, we were, yes. So we would fly in on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and we stayed till Monday. The shows were Friday and Saturday. And it was, oh, man. Every dude, every every comic wanted to do the gig. The gig was, and I had it for about a year. And then 9-11 happened. And then yeah. that shit got really? shut. Yeah, because you couldn't get on the base. They flipped us where we had uh, Beverly Muse was the one who was booking Roger. I know Beverly. I know Beverly. Yeah. And so Beverly um, would hit us up because they, they had... They Which were was, at the time, that was Louis Dick's manager. Really? Yes. And she was, a, she was an asshole, too. Well, she, she got me one day, too. We, I, was, I was doing my, my, second, my second trip out there. Mm -hmm. uh, first one I did with Shane. Second trip. She goes, uh, we get to the airport, she goes, okay, here's your ticket, and uh, your name is Daryl Heath. <laughs> what? Yeah. I was like, what? And so I, I'm like, okay. And after the whole run, after I did the run, I said, okay. I thought she had more gays coming on. I said, yeah, I'll call you sometime for more gays. She goes, for what? Yeah, she, she, Beverly. Okay, she you short haired motherfucker. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this. Hawaii is just like freaking. Like, <laughs> underneath, yeah, under, I didn't underneath, know underneath the, sur like underneath the surface, it's just like. It's People are just wild. It's, it's, it's free. It's, it's going down like free. Yeah. all the time. Yeah. Like, I, I busted out a maid a couple of times. Like, yeah. Fucked a couple of maids that came to the cleaning room. How's well, good? That's because you know. That's think right. about it. Like it's yeah. it's a it's an Asian culture. So yeah. basically, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And then they cater to the dudes. So if you go to like the strip clubs and stuff, like you know, oh. it, it's it's just man, it, it's off the chain. Because you can do anything. Have to you it, been bro. back? Or you been? I was supposed to go back um, last Sunday, as a matter of fact, for a whole week. But something happened. We didn't get to. We had to push the trip back. So I'm going um, next month. You know, some little kid gonna walk through. Hey, daddy. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's in there was the food nah, at strip they clubs, though. They yeah. had some of the best food at strip. Well, that's clubs. all strip clubs. No, yeah. no, yeah. I've never. You've never missed at a strip club. Club on food. food is good. Really? Some about strip club food because yeah. Alaska. They have yeah. yeah. some. They have some great pulled pork mm -hmm. in Alaska. Um, at that uh, one of theirs, and and Hawaii was Feminu and dancers. Feminu, yeah. Feminu was oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! You want to take him home? Take him home. We was in the bathroom. <laughs> she was getting yeah, Robbie. How can Lincoln Poogie like her? Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of fun in Hawaii. It was just how many films do you think you've done already? Filmed, <laughs> directed. Probably like Man, you asked me. Like I, I don't know. No, come on. If you had to put, you, it, are you asking her? Oh, no, no, I'm asking. Oh, I mean, have you directed? A lot, man. Like I, I don't know, a thousand, a thousand, yeah, something like that. Any of them stand out? Like, oh, I remember this one, or they kind of just all run together. But they don't, they don't run together. It's just like um, the experience on on set is is different sometimes when you when you get goosebumps on your skin because of the stuff that's going on in front of the camera. <laughs> and that's what I always I always try to go for that. Like if if I didn't feel that, if I'm not getting that sensation, then to me, it's like, there's no point in actually putting that together. Because, I, I mean, I, I've seen porn, and I don't know if I got goosebumps. More like no, I'm, I'm saying, like, being in no, like, it, be, like, actually being there mm -hmm. and witnessing something happen in front of you like that because you put that together. Oh, okay. Like, that's the kind of energy I always st stroll for every time I would create something. Mm -hmm. And then when it actually happened, like, it would just be, like, dead silence because everybody would be so into what was going on in front of the camera. And I, and I think for for me that was that was always my purpose like to 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 be in that space so every time that we made something it would be something that would be worthy of being nominated. I hate to say this, but have you ever been to to uh, have you ever been on a set and you just got the case of the giggles? You know, where stuff was just that funny where you guys just had to stop. Should for a be second not porn. No, no, I mean, a lot of shit happened. Sure like the funny the funny shit I ever the funny shit I ever seen happen like personally was when this dude like these dudes were about to fight and they had hard ons. <laughs> so if two motherfuckers like hard dicks, <laughs> I was like, what, what was they fighting about? Cause, cause, okay, cause. <laughs> no, so it, it was like this. Uh, it's it like this gang bang. We do this. I was, we shoot this gang bang. Like we used to do when I was at West Coast. I was contract with West Coast, and we shoot shot a lot of shit. So it was like this eight on one. So we were up on. We were at this house. We were at this house uh, in Woodland Hill somewhere, and it was like up in the up the hill a little bit by this jacuzzi or whatever so we go through the scene like everybody stand around yeah and you know like uh, for some reasons like sometimes directors want everybody to come at the same time okay so some dudes did it and then there was there was this dude like brian pumper was standing he was standing <laughs> in front of for the slayer 
And then, you know, Slayer was standing behind him just like, ah, ah, ah. So Brian Proper busts off, and then Slayer turns around and squirts right on his ass. Like, on oh, his oh, ass cheek, oh, right? Oh, so so I'm looking like... That's a <laughs> no, he, fight. No, he purposely, uh, he purposely turns. Yeah, that's why it's And fun. then he just like, ah, like right on, his, right on his ass cheeks. <laughs> and, and me and Lee G, like me and Lee G were looking at each other like, oh, all hell about to... This no, is like, All hell's about to break loose. Like, all these motherfuckers about to fight. But he didn't do nothing. He just acted like it was just normal. So we looked at each other like, you know, what's going on with these two motherfuckers? Like, he... Cause, cause somebody squirted on my ass, like I would have just, we don't you know, <laughs> bing, 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 yeah, <laughs> bing, <laughs> bing, <laughs> bing. But <laughs> first, I said, I'm gonna get dressed, <laughs> beat your ass. No, it's just the way he did it. Like he was just standing back there, and he, he, he could have just blasted on a girl, but he just turned and just like, oh, I see these cheeks, and just <laughs> so, on his... so that was the fight. So that fight didn't happen. That didn't. No, that that didn't happen. Like it, that that wasn't a fight. It was, it was another time. It was Pumper, and he was he was on a set. And Pumper was like known as this dude, like he he's, he considered himself to be like Superman. So he if he was working with somebody else on set, he'd always try to do shit to throw the other performer off. Like he'd say something, mm-hmm. put it in the universe, like the other dude's dick would get soft. So he kept doing this. Like this day he kept this day he, this day he kept doing it like the whole time. So so I said I said it was funny because I was looking through my footage and I found I found it was Marie Love. She was on she was um, shooting behind the scenes that day, uh-huh. and then she had captured this whole thing with me pulling him to the side uh-huh. and having this conversation with him. Not not to do that. No, I, he said he said what are you talking about? I said dude, like you know what the fuck I'm talking about? <laughs> like motherfucker, I, I, we've seen you do this shit the whole time, and yeah. it just got to the point where it was it was Rico Strong on set, and Rico oh. used to be the girlfriend of. Sydney Capri. Okay. And then Pumper was fucking with Sydney Capri before. So to him, it was like the most hilarious thing ever because he was just going to throw Rico out. So he would jump up, put his ass in Rico's face. Like he just turned around, throw his ass in his face. And I'm looking at this dude like, like what are you doing? <laughs> so so we talking or whatever. And then he's like, he, he, like, he didn't know what I was talking about. So I got mad. And that was like one of the few times that I ever lost my cool on set. Yeah. So I'm screaming at this motherfucker like, and I'm like, oh, I'm about to throw your ass over the balcony. But the whole time, his dick is hard. <laughs> like, this motherfucker is like, his whole, his dick is just. Nigga get a jab at the same man. time. <laughs> yeah. It'd be, it's you, ever, you ever thought about telling those stories? Like, putting them in a book or? No, that's what I, that's what I hit you up about. We're about to do that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, uh, yeah. is there any fantastic stories story that you would never want to shoot again that you don't want to ever shoot again? That you wouldn't want to work with? Yeah. Besides Pumper? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, there's some dudes that, like, because sh- it, it was actually kind of hard to be on my set. Like, you had to be, like, a, basically like a Superman at that level to come and perform because the expectations are so hard. When so you said Superman, like, be ready to go. Just like an inhuman. Like, your, your mind, your mental had to be so tough that when you came on set, like, any type of situation that I put you in, like, you'd have to be able to perform. So a lot of dudes, like, if they weren't at that level, they were kind of intimidated. So when they came to present, like, their their dicks wouldn't work. What the fuck? It, it wouldn't work because because they're on my set. Like, so it, it wouldn't work because they would psych themselves out. Like, you see, but that's the other thing. Because of me. Can like, you imagine even yeah. being like in a gangbang? Like most no, dudes, no. like everything's uh, gay. Gangbangs gang. are easy. <laughs> so, so is it because what you demand from the actor? It's it's just the expectation. Like, like, you, like, you know, I don't understand. I don't understand why would, why would like I get filming. soft just because you're telling me. Because if I'm fucking on other sets, what would make your set different from other sets? Because it's a devote set. I mean, I don't, I don't know if that means anything, but. But um, yeah, I guess I got to, to those people within the business, like it, it was like that. So if you if you found yourself in that environment, it was like, um, oh, I I have to perform at this level, mm. and and you just you just thinking about that, like, cause it, it's like if you're if you're are you paying perform- more? Yeah, definitely. Okay. There are oh, levels okay. yeah. to like adult entertainment, sweetie. Hey. Like, and Probably so changed, if he's won an AVN and like you say, won multiple of them, I'm sure he's like the Tarantino of porn. Or of. Uh, no, like, adult, I mean, I'm adult, default. Adult okay. entertainment. So it's not like, you know, it's not, it's, not, it's not like comparatively, like compared to somebody else. It's just like within that, within that industry, like if you have a certain name, then things ring out and sometimes your repre- reputation can precede yourself. Right. And then, I'm, I yeah. wasn't necessarily like caught up in that, but you know, sometimes I would have to pull somebody to the side and be like, 
just relax, motherfucker. Like, mm-hmm. we're all here to see that you succeed. Like, everybody wants you to, to be able to do that. And, and sometimes... I just, maybe just, maybe because I'm just... I don't know. Maybe I'm just naive about the porn business. I don't see how somebody could show up to fuck and can't fuck. Easily. Are you kidding Because me? it's not about right? fucking. It's, it's a whole set. It's not about fucking. <laughs> so so what people don't understand is that they think it's about, okay, we have an attractive female here. Mm-hmm. And then I'm, my dick's supposed to get hard. But yeah. see, some, but there's other nah, people. There. Sometimes, sometimes you could come on set and it's like, you gotta come in with your dick hard. Most that's the way. I need a minute, but you don't have a minute. That's interesting. You see what I'm saying? No, like, can I turn around? And 95 percent of the directors are out there because a lot of those didn't didn't were never in front of the camera, so they don't have a concept of what it's like to be in that situation. Yeah. For me, it was always it was it was always about the the logical aspect of it. Mm-hmm. If if you're Presenting and you're matched with somebody. Okay, you have to ask somebody before you get to that point. Like, what, what kind of dudes do you like? Okay, what what kind of female performance would you like to be with? Mm-hmm. So by the time you 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 go in and you match all that stuff up, when you get to set, it's it's a given that that person is going to be these people are going to be attracted to each other. Mm-hmm. Like it makes sense. Just like she was talking about creating stories and and in this, it is about with sex in it. So mm-hmm. it's like believe. Every, that universe is believable. Got it. So, so people think like, okay, you put two people in front of the camera, and as long as they're having sex, then that satisfies the criteria, and it's going to be something that's exciting. Mm-hmm. But you watch plenty of shit where people are fucking, and it just doesn't turn you on. Yeah. You're yeah. just not into that. Yeah. Because they're not thinking about the end user. They're not thinking about the consumer. So for me, it was all about everything making sense, mm-hmm. and then you get caught up in that, and you suspend your disbelief so it makes sense to you watching that, so you're going to get simulated because all the thing you're thinking about is those two people are into each other, and it's real. Now, how many cameras do you use on set? Um, just one. Just like, one. film Hello. style. Hello. Yeah. Isn't that... I, I, my brother tried to do porn, and then he failed. It was so funny. <laughs> See, I say, I say you, 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 use, you use one camera because, you know... There's there's a lot of things that's missing like in today's porno world because people try to make it so much like film and then you see it they don't have the angle what's missing is the angles in porn mm-hmm. and to have the angles you gotta have your eye to the camera like you have to be in there mm-hmm. like getting those angles mm-hmm. okay because if you if you're not thinking about like I'm gonna jack off to this shit like you're gonna make it pretty and you're gonna miss some shit mm-hmm. it's it's about the the intimacy of it it's about making the viewer connected to what's going on. In front of the camera. It just looks, to me, it just, you know, nowadays it's just more fake because it's not saying that it's real to begin with. But mm-hmm. I'm just saying it just looks more uh, not authentic. I think it depends on what you type in. Like, big booty bitch. I'm probably going to, I'm going <laughs> to. Now, I, I, now, I got a major That's question. That's what you type in? Have you ever, booty. on any one of your Yeah, I type in big, hold on, uh, Robin. I type in big booty bitch. What do you type in, Camille? I like to type in gangbangs, so when I'm masturbating, there's never a time when someone's not, like, fucking. You know what I mean? So I never have to switch the video and watch the boing parts with a sucking dick and shit. Like that. Oh, that's she, she into that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Robbie, what's in your history? I'm done. And mine? Oh, wow. It, it, it fluctuates. Just throw one at me. Throw one. Ebony cheerleader game bang. Ah! Ebony cheerleader. Ebony cheerleader. Oh, I, Nathan Woodburn. Ebony cheerleader. Nate, nah, I, 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 I had new search to search. Then, <laughs> then, so I've been looking at a lot of uh, retro stuff. So, uh, 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 that's so boring. Yeah, yeah, what do you mean boy, like the fifties? No, no, no. Fifties. No, no, no. My boy's not here no more. Who, who, who's uh on the lamb, Jake Steed. So some of Jake stuff. Oh, I know Jake. Bros. I met him when I first came in. Yeah, Jake, cool yeah. dude. Love yeah, hanging out cool. with Jake. And yeah, Wesley cool. Pipes on because when Wesley, Wesley was doing yeah. the uh, Wesley, my dude too. Black Cheetah search. Yeah. Wesley would talk so much shit. Him and country. That him with the yeah. with the guy with the guns. Yeah. Yeah. And Is he West. still doing? No. Nah. No, nah, he, he doesn't do porn no more. Good dude. And then Lex, mm-hmm. some of Lex's old stuff because. It was just funny, and then you know, mostly yeah, Lex, my- Lex to me <laughs> was funny as fuck. When I first met him, and you know, he told me he came from Stock World. Stock World, yeah, yeah. And then he just kind of got pulled into the business, which was I thought was dope as fuck. He's gonna get pulled. He's like, oh my, yeah, I want my white friends, man. Because you know, he has that voice. He's, yeah, yeah, man, I want my fucking white friends, man. <laughs> Lex is funny. No, Lex is I got some funny Lex. I told you, that, I told you that what happened with him and with him and I. Where he, he came to see me at the Improv one night. Mm. So you, you seen him out when he's dressed. 
Yeah, he could dress. Yeah. Period. I don't really look at dudes. No, no, no. Let's. I mean, from head uh, to toe. Just, I mean, he can, I don't look at dudes. <laughs> okay, my bad. But but the brother. I don't look at another dude. Go, you dress well. No, the brother could dress. So he came to see the show, and after the show, there were three there were three white women getting their car because we were standing up by the valet. Oh, that was Lex because he liked white. No, one, was, one, was, one was sixty-seven years old, gray-haired white woman, little short one, and her two daughters. Yeah. So they get in the car, and me and Lex are standing there. She turns, looks, she goes. Oh my God! You're Lexington like, Steele. I love you. Her daughter goes, Mom. Do you know him? She goes, He's. Oh, <laughs> she stopped. I said, Yeah, he's he's an action star. She goes, she goes, really, Mom? You watch his action movies? She, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Lexington just he was just smiling. Lots of she goes, Well, is there anything that we can see? I said, Well, it's straight to video. It goes to China. <laughs> what, what? Probably don't. Probably don't watch that. Yeah. <laughs> you ever thought about doing porn? Uh, no. Like ever had a thought? No. I, I I didn't have a thought, but a I couple, wanted to be a stripper. A couple of our mutual you? friends. <laughs> a couple of no, but a couple of our hold mutual on, friends. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, Robbie. Hold on, Robbie. Going to strip. <laughs> strip a man. Strip a man. He wanted to strip. First of all, uh, <laughs> Sky. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I cool. always want. <laughs> I don't I appreciate you laughing at I my pain. I stripped for a year and a half. I, I wanted to be a, I th- always wanted to be a stripper. You were stripping? Yeah, I stripped for a year Did and a half. Oh. Oh, I made that? great money, but but uh, see, you missed out, Speedy. <laughs> yeah. At least you didn't laugh, Camille. Yeah, I stripped. My but, friend but, uh, laughed at me, and she's still yeah. laughing. Do you know how to pop it, lock it, and drop it, Speedy? <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't do that when you're old. But I mean, I don't, I don't think I can do that. Though. I'm talking about like when I was like 24, like the 80s. I was like, I think I want to be a stripper. 89 and 91. <laughs> that's when strippers think, was popping. You thinking all, all the all the women you could get that's from what strippers? It was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay. uh, but two mutual like, friends asked me. I to could do never do that though. So. So one of the professions, because I everything I thought I wanted to do was because I was going to be female. So my boy, <laughs> my boy became, was a hairdresser. And he was meeting all these bad bitches. I was like, nigga, how you meet all? He said, I do hair. I'm like, Psh. I go check in the school. I'm a dude. <laughs> I stayed three, about two months. And I got to the part where where you, call, where you had to curl the hair with the curling iron. It was too heavy. I kept burning the fucking doll. <laughs> and I was, was like, God damn! Dude, I'm like two months in. I'm like, how much longer I got? She said, You got next year. I'm like, Oh, bitch. next year. I just want to meet some bitches. <laughs> now, <laughs> I fucked all the bitches at, at that school at Marinello. <laughs> <laughs> right, we- Suzanne, Suzanne Beauty College. Oh wow! On Imperial and Crenshaw. Oh damn! That's where I went, and and because all the dudes was gay, I was only straight dude there. I was man, please. But then I said, Okay, I can't even do that. So I want to be a stripper. But then I didn't know how to get. To be a stripper. I mean, that's the thing about stripping too. Like those dudes are gay. No, 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 uh, now? No, when you were stripping. BBWs. Oh, man, I was knocking down. Uh, no, 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 no. no these are uh, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. I was knocking down some slimmies. It was uh, four nights. What was your name? <laughs> <laughs> what was your name? Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> Nigga. What you, you wear the leggings and like shit like Thunder. Like, Thunder. You, like you, cat. <laughs> you wear leggings. Yeah, did you do leggings? <laughs> Tell the truth. You, you wear the leggings. Did a G string? Did a G string with the tassels? Yeah, so you don't have a tie-on cowboy hat? No, that was uh, <laughs> some quick <quick-quack. laughs> <laughs> Nipple tassels. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> they got the tassels, the leggings. <laughs> you what's booty popping? What's the most you made one night? You booty popping? Um, shoot, back then the most I made one night was. You said, did you booty pop? <laughs> Back in the day, that was a lot of money. Booty pop, Robbie, <laughs> he asked, did you booty pop? No, we didn't do all that. That was gay shit. Oh, oh shit. Man, you were you you Well, line. you were yeah. stripping. You, yeah, you I got a booty pop, pop nigga. Uh, 89 and 91. <laughs> well, that's a nice, nice three-year There was a difference. There was a difference. We can keep our cards. We didn't do all that booty popping. Uh, see, I, I, I have a big dick. I don't have to do all that. Whoa. You tying off. You just tying off. 
I don't think we he answered that question. Off. He said, no. That's how you do it. You tie off. That's what it's called, right? When no, you tie I off? I didn't do all that. I didn't do all you that. You don't have to tie off? Class. Oh, but there okay. are other cats who had to tie off to, to make themselves. You, know, look. <laughs> or, you don't want to tie off it. Well, if you want to strip, you don't no, want to tie off. No, no. Okay, I'm you gonna explain do the tie off. off. They tie, they stroke their shit till it gets semi hard, then they tie it off so the blood just remains. No in. way. Yeah. So it looks like they got a plump. That's why your brother didn't get it. <laughs> so it looked like it's no, he tried to do yeah. porn. Oh, I like he tried to be the fucking dude. Yeah, he tried to like be in porn. He was like going to Miami, mom. See you later. Fuck college. (laughs) (laughs) And he came came back back like a month later. (laughs) Oh, so he. (laughs) So so he saw how hard it was. Yeah. 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 Um, Shit is uh, hard. What's his name? (laughs) His daughter. Who? Lawrence Fishburne. His oh, daughter. yeah. yeah, yeah. No, she used to do his youngest Chip, daughter, his yeah. oldest daughter, Chippy D. Yeah. Uh, when Montana was doing it. She yeah, was, I thought I thought that was fucked up. She was staying up the street. She was staying up the street. Yeah, she, she did Foxhole Radio at the time. I ended up, like, fucking her her friend. Like uh, She stayed it? up the street from me. She stayed up the street. Just, <laughs> when I met her, there was, I just didn't porn. believe she was doing porn. I, I just felt like, like Pumper just pulled her into the shit just to... No, nah, he didn't. Like she'd already did the, the yeah, first one. I, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. But by the time he got to her, he just, I mean, we felt bad. I felt bad. <laughs> like, I don't really feel bad. Most people, I go, hey, niggas, you making choices. Everybody yeah, I'm screaming. But I, I felt really bad for her being with Pumper because Pumper just was, to me, just not a cool dude to me. No, nah, he, he, he wasn't. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, like, karma is a motherfucker, though. Yeah, it is. He's in jail now. Cool, yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. Now he's pumping for real. Uh, ah! he's a, he's a bro, yeah. So did you do the towel? Did you put the towel around you? Uh we didn't do all that. We just what the went fuck, out. Nigga? What was the song you came out? Yeah, we you? had uh we had rip offs. We had rip off uh like the uh what do you guys have those uh <laughs> oh, oh, Stir- oh, what do you, you call them? Stir ups like those, uh, saddle chap chaps. Uh, well there, there's a good dudes that chaps. You better pick one of these. They name some good shit, nigga. You better pick one of these. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That's was, what like, I was, was, was you like, Jodeci, nigga? Was, <laughs> uh, was, was Jodeci? Jodeci. Was you was Jodeci. You was Jodeci. But I, you know, I was simple. I was so you had Tim's on? No, no, I had on uh, um, flip flops. Feelers. They come up in little feelers. Oh yeah, so you don't slip. Feelers. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I even said that. I So that was your go-to. Drinking in palm. I just came out. Came out. Girl, the one with the feelers on. You wear them every week. They was white, nigga. They was white. Yeah. I just, look, all I, did, all I did, all I did was go, <laughs> Granny Hill. Yeah, Grand Hill. <laughs> Robbie, you was a strip, and your name was Thunder. Strip Thunder. All right, chat room, you know, what's the, what's the name you think Robbie went by? What would be Pop's name if he was Ain't a that a bitch? Off, he would have made it. What I'm still a little upset at you. Style. Broken you Arrow. It would be Broken yeah, Arrow. No, you, and you're still laughing now. I, don't, I just feel. I funny thought. I like take that one with me. Yeah, I want to see you like grind not up me against me now. The woman. It's not me now. Like do you when have I was the moves? One, I was like, do you 200? have the rhythm, Speedy? I've never even seen you dance. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. I mean, so did did you actually strip or what? You were you were actually doing it? No, I didn't know how to get he was into inspiring. it. Oh, so yeah. Were you, were you, you still by the door? I'm scared. <laughs> or was it just a thought? Did you get a routine down? Can you show us your audition for the club? I don't appreciate none of this shit. Right <laughs> well, you know, all you had to do was, I didn't know. All you had to do was ask Monty B. What's Lamont Bomber. Yeah. What's song did you practice doing in the house? Yeah, what was it? <laughs> no. Wop, bop, loop, bop, 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 Speedy opened up. Get up on us, this. Told us about his dreams. Hey, get up on <laughs> this just, I feel like your brother right now. Y'all just kicking me all in the face. <laughs> Fuck your mom, I'm out. Rip on <laughs> so did he come back home and go back to school? Yeah. Hello. I then my mom, but then he got kicked out. My mom made him join the army. Oh shit. Sure. I mean, so what no, made him cool. think he could become a porn star? I, I guess people told him he had a big dick. He was delusional. He oh. was delusional. Uh, regular sex. I mean, that's only that's right step right one. Yeah, delusional. Yeah. I just feel like people have like good sex. Like I think I'm good at sex, but do I think I could be a porn star? No. Okay. Why not? Like, because yeah, I d- I don't like spitting. I don't like getting cum on. There's like anything that's like basic porn star. Well, it, you gotta get come on. That's part no, of the No, I exactly that's what I'm saying. I could never be one. Yeah, you gotta get spit on. Yeah, spit. <laughs> yeah, yeah come got, on. You don't have to like. You don't have to do all of that type of stuff. I mean, you still do it, but you know, there's levels and degrees to it. I yeah, just feel stuff. like. Do you have a sex tape? You have a private sex tape? No. Well, I do, but it's not good. <laughs> why? Why? Why is it not? Good? Let us see it. We, why is it not good? <laughs> <laughs> so you no. so you want to do it, but you just no. 
no. haven't had the proper experience. No, though. I have done like I've been a cam girl before, so oh, I know wow, a okay. cam girl. Like yeah. I've like been like a web. What is a cam girl? It's a girl yeah. that's like on a webcam and like dudes give her money to like strip, and the then you master. Dude, wow, so. <laughs> hmm. I never heard it. Yeah, I did it when I studied abroad in England for like a month, and I made like seven thousand dollars. It was crazy. I it was really easy money. So you could do like an OnlyFans or something. Yeah, I I, I I'm not going to though, like, cause again, yeah. like I'm a writer now, so it's just like, <laughs> and also I made sure it only showed in Europe. <laughs> See, but that's that's what they tell you. No, no, but that's everywhere though. No, she's she's, she's, it's she's everywhere. fucking brilliant. Because if you do something like that overseas, especially, and it, it's just in Europe, Spain. No, that's, that's, that's Spain, not true. Sp- no, a lot of Spanish. Uh, that, ain't, that, know. that ain't true. Oh, really? There's a lot of Spanish porn? That's not true. I've never seen any, any you porn see that. I've seen in Spain. Okay, so here's, here. here's the thing. I watch they Africa might tell you that. They might tell you that, but think about it. They're trying to maximize dollars, so it's going to be everywhere. It's they might, they, they tell you that. have certain porn sites yeah. for certain countries. Like the, like the campsite I was using was like, n- like it's British. Like people in Europe use. Yeah, but I'm I'm pretty sure like right now you could find your stuff. I'm sure. Uh, are you are you under Witty Girl? No, I no. have I had a different alias. Did you, you chatterbait? I'm sure it'll come stop. out, like but I can't wait till it comes out because then I'll be even more successful oh, than I am. But I'm not doing that now. <laughs> She's just gonna do that. Like you didn't do chatterbait, did you? No, I didn't do anything like that. I did like a yeah. again. I did what a site chatterbait? that was known. Chat- Chatter bait, chatter bait. Oh, that's what I said. Chatter. Yeah, no, chatter bait. I thought you said chatter bait. You no, chatter bait, which chatter is basically bait. webcams and people, you know, yeah. they're webcamming from all over, mostly Central and South America. And, you now, know, now yeah. would you say, cuz, that, um, that OnlyFans page have really knocked you guys out the box, more or less? No? No, nah, it's, it's kind of like uh, made it better for, for people who are performing. Like, they don't have to oh, depend yeah, yeah. on. Is it easier yeah. to find talent because of OnlyFans? Nah, I mean, well, everybody's doing it. Yeah. yeah. Like everybody's got an OnlyFans. So. Yeah. Yeah. Every, everyone has. A OnlyFans. friend of mine had it, and she was like, "No," but she was like, "I'm on this. I'm just gonna put on there cooking and things like that." Yeah, right. I said, "Bitch," and so she started doing that. She like put cooking, cooking shit on there. Yeah. They don't she, know. A big time celebrity, and she said the dudes kept going. Yeah, bitch, the cooking's fine. When are you gonna show a titty? Yeah, and they, she, show me she some had ass. to stop doing it because they yeah. kept <laughs> nagging her about showing a yeah, titty. Exactly. Yeah, that's what they want to see. Yeah, they were like, yeah, that, that food is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Show me a nipple. Bitch. <laughs> you you see see it? It? No, she stopped. Nah. She cut the fan pit because she was under that. You know, someone would go, oh, I'm just doing it. I'm going to put my right. shoes and show my feet. No, bitch. At some <laughs> point, somebody wants to see your pussy. Exactly. When Camille Winbush got on OnlyFans, mm-hmm. I said, I'm never going to watch that. Camille Winbush. Why does that Bernie Max cool? daughter, the oldest daughter on the oh, Bernie Max show. She got really? She my cousin. On she has an only she's your c- That's my cousin. She has only You're cancer. related to her? She's so good. Related to who? I missed it. I'm a huge fan. I don't do anything, but people just want to yeah, see. Yeah, that's my cousin on my mom's side. and titties. Oh, my God. That's my monsters. mom's aunt. That's my mom. Her mom and my mom are, are sisters. And and me and me and her went to high school together. Like, wow. she was a valedictorian in my high school. Wait. Wow. Uh, Camille's mom. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, wait. That, yeah, Camille's mom was a valedictorian in my high school. I like, love the way these like, smell. I would have never got through my math class without my cousin, even though I got a D. I cheated cheat off her paper. Because Tro- Troy's more your age. I off her he's he's our age, right? Who? Her brother, Troy Winbush. Camille's yeah, brother. yeah, yeah. He went. We went to high school there. All all of us went to high school there. Uh, Troy, <laughs> it's not Troy. It's Tony. It's Tony and Anthony. So, which was weird that one brother's named Tony, one brother's named Anthony. So, uh, to- Anthony or Tony. Well, Tony Winbush, we played on a football team together. And then he met my cousin, and they started liking each other. Uh, huh, that's a great story. Wait, wait, wait. Can I say something real quick? Real quick? Oh, I'm sorry. So my, my lovely rib just dropped off from some candles that she made. So we have our own company. So these is really cool. So it's an Adam and Eve candle. The Adam has two wicks on it. The Eve has one. So you can actually burn Yo, these. Say it again. This the is what? for y'all. This is for the players right here, okay? The what has what? This is the Adam and Eve candle. So the Adam candle has two wicks on it. The Eve has one. Why? That's how she made them. So it Wouldn't burns Eve have two titties? <laughs> it's not about that. So listen, the, this is the beautiful part about this. So you can actually burn these candles. Let's so say if you're having a dinner with your, your lovely lady or something, or you're having a Robbie session, mm-hmm. you can burn these candles. They smell great. Then you can blow it out and actually rub the oil into the person's skin. And the, the, mm. the fragrance lasts. We have one for men, one for women. That didn't burn? It's got like a little pain. You see a look on her face? 
I was, you didn't see I was a little nervous about doing it? No, you did that. Like, no, nah, cr- you weren't nervous you at all. You, you did it. <laughs> you did it face down. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah so just be nervous. careful. And then, yeah, so the the wax itself, oh, wow. right? And it lasts long. I actually put time and effort into these fragrances. We made them ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So this you is You making gold. candles now? Yeah, with the body wax on there. Can you, know, you, well, you use got this a rib. as lubricant? I haven't <laughs> tried the lubricant part yet. I wouldn't suggest it. Um, but it, you guys can test it. Love no, it, smell, smells. it smells How's good. it smell? It smells amazing. Smell it yeah, this one is bomb. Oh, my God. That's a, so how do they get these, Nick? Um, so if you guys what want these one? candles, we're doing a pre-order. All right, we're doing a pre-order. How you long it lasts? 42 hours. Okay. That's pretty long. Yeah, That's we actually said. burned so them and set like the timer. central candles? Exactly. So okay, so hand, how do they get them? Handmade, the crafted. Yeah. Hit me on the Rollout Digital page. DM me. Uh, you can hit me on the chat room. Get it shipped right to you. We can ship it to yeah, you. We doing a we doing a pre order. It, it, it's a nice gift. I love gift. that you can rub it in your body. Now my right. my cousin that's who, cool. I've never seen anything like that. Who's sliding away <laughs> from uh, the adult high, business? Also, yeah, is a realtor, yeah, right? You official like, realtor now? Yeah, I'm official, man. Like, like I see the car in, investments. That's what I specialize in. Yeah, the suit on. Investments. Got to have a suit to be a realtor. So so I'm in investments and all that type. Is it investments or realtor? Well, I mean, I'm a realtor, but I specialize in investments. Like flipping houses? Well, flip if you want to invest or get advice investing, like whether or not it's a good investment or not. If you want to actually maximize your dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I want a house. I want a house. I want that house that where my kids, when they have kids, say that's where Papa lives. Yeah. I want that kind of house. See, I want yeah. that. I want the other side. I want. I want that house that I give to my son, that he gives to his son. Okay, then. So, so you you, you guys know that now. So hit me up, and we'll think, talk about some well, investment. I'm hitting you now. Getting into some investments or whatever, what you know. I want a house. I want. I want anything yeah. I can afford. <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is like y'all got my well, number. I'm, so. <laughs> I'm gonna take my stripping money. And and Camille, Sky. you want to do the uh the movies or whatever like. Money. Adult stuff. You got my number, so hit me up so we can. Yes, I definitely collab I, I, or I know all parts of production. I would be comfortable being AD. I don't like. I'm not squirmish or anything. Yeah, okay. But I'm saying like you want to write for some stories yeah, for that I would too. Love so to yeah, write. just hit me. Up. Yeah, she writes really fast. Too. Some porn. Yeah, because like I gotta erotic. go get. I write really fast. Yeah, I gotta go like pick up my daughter. So give you information. She's calling me. I give her. Yeah, I got the car. Yeah, I oh, have okay. his card. Okay, read, go ahead there. and read it. And that's for the uh for. Well, it doesn't have his braids. My number's on there. Well, no, you need um to say your like social media for yeah. everyone, the fans. They already know that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Alexander, Alexander Devoe. Oh, Ale- everything is Alexander Devoe. Devoe. We, they, they Alexander, D E V O E D E. V O E D E capital V O E and and these candles smell so good. Thank you. I know. So uh, 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 Sky Rizzy, Sky. So you got the card, so you can, so as my 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 niece can get a haircut. I know he got yeah, yeah. I know. She blowing you or up. Or do you want to give her your yeah. card? Yeah, Who? that's not for me. Oh yeah. Yeah, sorry. I actually. Yeah, I already have his number. I was gonna say. I don't know why I had it. Thank you, brother. Huh? Yeah. The, for some reason, I got talk. I think I'm chaperoning. All right. <laughs> so tonight is uh, um, Anaya's birthday party at Fox House. Oh, yeah, I seen the setup. And I got the call. Crazy. Fox wants you to come to the party. I'm like, yeah, shit, I got a shop around. So I got I to gotta drop her off, go home, give my truck to my other daughter because she's taking the kids to to uh, where? Raging Walk. Raging Walk. Well, I've never been there. I'm nice jealous. Place. Is your boys yeah. going? What, to Raging Walk? I should go to Raging yeah, Walk. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, they're going to uh, see them on Tuesday at Hurricane Harbor. Oh, okay. Yeah, Oh yeah, yeah they go there like every other day. Yeah. They're at Magic Mountain. They've got Magic Mountain monthly passes, so you oh, got to use them. Yeah. Plus, you get a free meal. I'm obsessed with these candles. How much are really? these candles? Really? Oh, the In the good restaurant, the one with the hot dogs and hamburgers. Uh, no, you get you get, you get air, three. Buddy. You get check. Was it three meals or two meals? I don't know. I think it's, you get for the Magic Mountain passes, monthly passes, so. you get, get two the, two free meals every time you come. And you could do, and you go both parks. Wait, Magic Mountain? Oh, that Magic and Hurricane Harbor? Yeah, season pass. Oh, wow. Season pass. But it's worth it because you get up there, and most of the time, their money's spent buying the fucking food. Yeah. Oh, shit. Food is no, like well, $30. I used to get, used to get yeah. the uh, the band where you get yeah. that the meal deal would be 30 bucks a person, and you can eat all, they had all the restaurants, oh, and one was fine thing. dining. One in yeah. Magic Mountain was fine no, dining. No, no, no. Get, get the season pass. Uh, yeah, give I give your information, uh, Robbie. Okay, it's uh, Rob Perron, R O B B P E R O N, on all the platforms. Also, on July 27th, you'll see myself. It's going down. 
and you'll see Superstar Speedy, uh, Kamara White, Smokey D's, Brett Riley, and Shane with music by DJ Ron C. We're going to be at the Howard Hughes Movie Theater right off the 405. I didn't even know it was a movie theater. Yeah, it's a movie theater. It's a Cinemax. We're going to be in uh, theater number 17. Tickets are still on sale. We still have a few left over, and uh, you can yeah, go to on. Eventbrite, 50 Shades of Funny, 50 oh, yeah, Shades yeah, yeah. of Funny. To buy your tickets. And if you uh, want to, we got some tickets to give away. So uh, you need to get at Nick and see if you get those tickets. We're going to give them to our $20 yeah, fans. If you are on the top tier of the $20 Patreon, you are in. local, yeah. Yeah. hit me. I'm a, the first, we got four tickets. Yeah. The first four people that are local that's on the $20 Patreon tier to hit me up, you're getting free tickets. Yeah. So you Straight up. Four tickets, they get one ticket a piece? Yeah. It's VIP ticket, though. So. Yeah. It's only fifteen dollars for this. For the I'm inside. saying, but like you know, whatever I want to bring. Then can we get some more tickets, Ross? Um, I'll know by next week. I'll probably get you guys some more tickets. Okay. Cool. So but, uh, uh, but 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 you know what? Let's. So how about we do this? So for this week, let's do. We right. So for this week, we do two. Right. So I have four tickets. So we have picked two winners. Yep. So that way you can bring you and somebody else, mm -hmm. and then uh, next week we get some more tickets in. Mm -hmm. so we'll do. We'll do this. The first. We'll do this. The go, first. Uh, first person who uh, gets two new subscribers to this Patreon channel. We'll give another two pack. I mean, Damn. We'll, do a, we'll, do we'll do a we'll do a four pack. We'll do a four pack. Four pack. I like that. So if you so you know, if you're it's, a, a it's a game bank. Yeah, it's a game bank. So <laughs> if you if you if you bring two more subscribers to the uh, Speedy Rollout Radio Show, mm -hmm. um, turn Patreon, them on to show. Boom, we're doing. You turn on two people on the show, we got you a four pack. Bam. Go ahead, Sky Rizzy. All right, everybody. She laughed me. at me though. So I'll do. Okay. I'm gonna laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on uh, Instagram now, Mobile Braider LA. Only if you want your hair done or if you know somebody wants your hair done. Don't just be hitting me for nothing. I'm yeah, streaming. Yeah, I'll be just like, hey, <laughs> Sky Rizzy. Yeah, don't do don't that shit. Be, actually, yeah, like my pictures so my followers go up. My braids. Thank y'all. And comment. Oh, yeah, and comment, too, on my pictures. And share on your story. Yeah. <laughs> my, man, all of that. And cash app her. She got kids. Yeah, I'm cash app. I'm dead. <laughs> What's the cash app, Sky? So if you just want That's to play real me, simple. Blue as the sky. It's a is blue as the sky because it's hip hop. S K Y or two Y's? Nah, just S K Y. I'm waiting gotcha. on Instagram to release my name. All her family members have some dope ass names. I can give y'all that. Wow. N name name the sibling. Um, Star Sky, Angel, Silver Star, and Dallas. That's my dog. Dallas. Wow. Silver Star. My brother is Stacy. <laughs> Shout out Stacy. <laughs> I know he upset. That's a gay, that's a gay name for a dude, though. Stacy. Yeah, it is, though. It is. Yeah, you got to be ruthless. Be, be like, oh, yeah. You fighting all day on Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Nigga. Uh, go ahead there, Woody Girl. Hello. Um, uh, well, I guess this is also like a goodbye, but um, my <laughs> um, Instagram is at the Witty Girl, and you can also find me on talk TikTok at the Witty Girl ninety four. Oh no, and um, also on Twitter, if you want to like really be annoyed by me, go there because I know y'all love to talk shit about me in the comments. Wait, you drop <laughs> and and you dropping your your song oh, in your video? Oh yeah, up. I'm dropping a know. song soon, but it's not out What's yet. What's the name of it? It's called Man Titties, yeah. and it's a male empowerment song. Yes. And um, I also yeah. have a hairline that's out, so check that out on my Instagram page and in the oh, link. It's like a natural hair care line, and I have like a co-wash and a hair mask Y'all should link up. She does and hair. Y'all you know, need to link up. Mask, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. That's real good. water base. Anyway. Oh, shit. Speedy is funny on everything. That's Speedy I-Z funny on everything. Comedian Speedy on Facebook. Happy birthday goes out to Will Ferrell, who is 54 years old today. Damn. Wiz Kids, 31. Yes. Who? Oh, I love Wiz Kids. That's the uh, African guy, right? Yeah. Uh, There's another guy. I don't know if you guys know who is. Uh, Kev yeah. Kevin Abstract. Yeah. He's a rapper. Nope. 25 years old. He He's born today. It. Barry Sanders, 53 He's years old. Shout out to Barry Sanders. Do you guys know who TJ Jackson is? Nope. He ain't going to make it either. Mm-hmm. It's Tito Jackson's son. Matter of fact, so? he's the one who is in charge of Michael's kids. That's scary. Yeah, he's 43 uh -huh. years old. Don't trust uh, Corey Feldman oh, is 50 kids. years old. Like uh, Daryl Mitchell, which he is oh, Ruby Chill. Yeah, Chill Mitchell yeah, is 56 years old today. Ginger Rod Rogers was born. I don't know who that is. Big time oh, actress. Uh, Rain <laughs> Pryor is 52 years old. Richard Pryor's yeah. girlfriend? Yep, his Zach Randolph is 40. Big dog. Mike Scott, 33. Don't know who that is. Basketball player. 
played at Houston. No, he didn't. Michael Scott was in the office. <laughs> no, my, he's the, he's the guy with all the stupid emoji tattoos on his. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah stupid. Uh, Terry emoji Pendleton tattoos. is sixty-one, baseball player. Uh, I.D. Wells was also born today. I I B Wells was also born today. On this date, July sixteenth, today, uh, Space Jam comes out. Hopefully, you guys go check it out. Go so? support. Yes, Brian I can't wait. wait, wait, wait. Any good reports? The new, uh, uh, I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything positive, but I'm still going to see it. Yeah, it comes out today. Uh, also on this date, 1993, Free Willy. Free Willy. I've never, never seen it. that movie. Never seen it, but... I mean, no we, black people. Uh, also on this day... <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't, everybody thought he was a brother in jail. Free Willy. Look, Free <laughs> Willy was a whale. I'm anyway, um, on this day, 2004, iRobot. That think, movie was wow. amazing. I think, I think Will Smith destroyed that. Yes. <laughs> when he had to kill the dog, I was in. No, nah, when he was walking oh, through that thing looking for the dude, looking for the robot, and that motherfucker dipped her out, dipped back in. Got him. Man, <laughs> great movie. Was that his last great film? Uh, I Am Legend was after that. Yeah, I Am oh. Legend, but I like the original better than I Am oh, Legend. Oh, no, I confused that then. Never mind. I Am Legend's where he kills his dog. I thought oh, that's what shit. you were talking about. Anyway, uh, <laughs> 2020, Fatal Affair. Yeah, it was a good, good movie. Mm-hmm. This movie I've never saw came out in 1999, The Wood, which, yeah. was, which was about so England. Suzanne Douglas was in it. It was is a good movie. Have never yeah. seen The Wood? Uh-huh. Is it worth watching? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll watch Omar it. Omar Epps. Yeah. Uh, oh, I yeah. love Omar Epps. It wasn't that I didn't want to. I just didn't get a chance to see it and still so haven't seen it. So when are you going to go see it? When are you going like, to just watch it on Netflix? Or something? When you visualize me as a stripper. I did, and that's why I was like, <laughs> fine. My feelings are hurt right now. Got the body of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's thanks to everybody that came out. Head. Shout out to Orpheus, who destroyed. And we're definitely going to do that retreat with him. So if y'all want to get down, Nakia, we know you're going to come, so we ain't worried about that. Uh, shout out to Blue. Uh, they're actually having his um, uh, uh, thing of life in in August coming up. So oh, I got wow. the thing. So we definitely want to support that. Shout out to, uh, we miss you, Charity Cassidy. Cha-cha. Yay. Miss you, uh, DR3. Miss you, boy. Um, your mom misses you even more. Um, shout out to Mom Dukes. I got to call her after. Uh, shout out to my Scott partner in crime. I could not do the show without him. That is true, son. Yeah. If he's sick. We sick. sick. Uh, with that being said, shout out to the Most High for that one. And hey, get you a candle, bitch. Hey, listen, man. Support. Man, buy candles, black business. My yeah. hands are still moist. You feel me? I'm not going to short you. I'm obsessed with how it smells. Listen, so this is it's this is busting. crazy. What's in it? Really, originally, we were just what? making stuff at the house, right? No, like Just like for the, the house, we were buying yeah, crazy candles. We, yeah, you know some of that. Yeah, and when I, I actually Orange tried the oil, oil, and the shit lasted all day. Yeah. And I, I'm obsessed with, like, fragrance and stuff, so... Um, I actually had my hands in the in the Adam one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the smell is amazing in the yeah, Adam one. I am obsessed. Super is that bergamot? Like, what is yeah, inside of it? Bergamot. Yeah, it's a scent. I'm like, I so would listen, know man. These <laughs> hey, look, and they burn for up to 40 hours. You can also use it as a body wax. I mean, as a body oil. Do not use it as a lubricant. Okay. You just be on the safe side, but you can use it as a body oil, a little fragrance on you. Yeah. And worst case scenario, the the what it, the packaging is fire. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. we didn't. I didn't short chop, man. Yeah, so. And you can keep that afterwards. You know, that's a yeah. nice thing. You know uh, what I would say though, just as a what you mean? smoker, the next time uh, have the things where they just turn into ashtrays. I can't use them. Oh, but you, you know why though? Because I my my rib also has a whole acrylic line where she makes ashtrays, dominoes. <laughs> Okay. All that kind of stuff. So I bring that stuff too. That's not a oh, bad she idea. Makes I'll buy one. Once you take it off, like you know. Oh, to set it down. Yeah. Why, why don't you put it on, turn it on? Because uh, I'm gonna light the candle, and then this is just extra. But if it. But I like it. Down, oh, you mean to use it? Unlike smoker. Sky, I don't. Smoke. I just ash in my candles. Am I the only one? <laughs> well, you know, I actually <laughs> prefer the little the little candle. I think it's a technical term for it. You use it to put out the actual wick on the candle. It's like a little metal thing. Oh, yeah. No, that's what the I actually prefer. Is. Put the no, because then that leaves a black smoke rim around. Okay. There. I had to go through the whole thing with candles to learn this process. So. Who cares? That's fine. Yeah. You know Buy the candle, about? bitch. That's all I'm going to say. Robbie, thank you for coming. Yes, Sky right, Rizzy, thank you for coming. Thanks for bringing my daughter's hair. She, I know she's so happy. She's waiting for you all day. Yes, if you need your hair braided, where can they go, Sky? Mobile Braider LA, Mobile Braider LA, Mobile Braider LA. Hit that on, she on Instagram, you'll up. see a sky, a side picture yeah. of sky face. That's how you know you're the right one. Bam. Yeah. Thank you, witty girl. You always destroy when you're here. Yeah. 
Curry. You know, it's Emma Curry. So, and my cousin thinks she's cute. So, in case you didn't know, smile it all ear to ear. Uh, Who? My cousin. That was my the cousin. Guy that was sitting right here. Oh, I thought he. He's not even wanted me guy. to write porn. Jokes. No, he, he just yeah, he, he, he wants you to do that as well. That's how you flirt, girl. <laughs> he just that's said that's he thought you were really But I actually am a good writer. <laughs> so I never my, know. My bad. <laughs> I think I think person has to like you first and then go. Okay, I want to work with them because I like them. I have to give you work. Yeah. No, no, you just want to pay your bills this month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that, too. Eh, okay, we figured <laughs> it. We got to get out of here. Uh, we'll see you back here on Monday. You guys be here, safe. Y'all. And on Sunday, if you live in California, you got to wear your mask, bitch. Yeah, we back on lockdown. Put your mask back on. Oh, wait, mask back on? Yeah. Back yeah. on Sunday. They better so. start putting you in concentration camps if you don't get your, your so vaccine shot. Cali. So they're going to insert it anally. So yep. the choice is yours. And you getting choked by Camille, nigga, when they do it. <laughs> So Sunday, Sunday, if you live in California, the restrictions go back in place when you go into in, public anywhere, places. Anywhere indoors, you got you to put a mask on. Except for the rollout rule. Yeah, you're cool. Then. Hey, listen, y'all. We got to spray it down. I better see some DMs by the time I get home. All right, we out. Hit that Instagram, y'all. Shout out to Adios. He just dropped a new video, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop that for y'all. I, I bet Mercedes shot that. Shout out to Adios. Classic player, all platforms. Hey, hit Sky up. Make her drop some music, please. I got, I got like 50 songs from Sky. Make her drop some music right. one time for the one time. Oh, 20 bands in my okay. Gucci bag Bitch, I do the dash I want never give you no more cash Bitch, you blew the bag Hit the gas Put you through the glass Cargo stupid fat Got it for it Hit the store Manager let me through the bag like-